Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Xcode 10 or the first beta version of Xcode 10 has just been released a few days ago and there are some interesting cool new features that I'd like to show you right now. So I've just created a random demo project here. This is just an empty or a little filled view controller with a label and a button. And if you have a look at this user interface, you might miss something, which is the object library that allows you to add UI components like a label or a button. And if you explore the UI a little more, then in the top right corner, you will notice that there is a new button called library. And if I press that button, I get a window like spotlight that allows me to search for objects like a UI button or a label or whatever I like. So if I wanted to add a, another button, I can just hit button and hit return. And then this button is added to my view controller. And to make this even faster, you can also press command shift L on your keyboard to access the object library. And so I could add, for example, a text field, hit return, and I've added a new text field to my view controller. It's that fast and I really like this new feature. But now let's head over to some code. There are also some very nice additions to the source code editor. For example, we got code folding back and we can activate that by going into the settings by pressing command comma and then just open up the text editing tab and then check the code, a uh, code folding ribbon box right here. And with that, we can just access this ribbon here and fold our code very nicely. And we get these three dots indicating that we can expand some code here. So very nice to have that back. Now, what I'm really excited about is something called multi cursor editing. And what I'd want to do now is change these three functions that return colors for different UI components into properties. And I would have to change that one by one. So adding a var here and a var there and so on. But now with multi cursor editing, I can do something very different and very cool. And to access this feature, all I have to do is press control shift on my keyboard. And now I can click in front of all of my three functions, select the function keyword, replace it with var. And now I can continue skipping to the end of my names of these properties, remove my parentheses, replace them with a colon. And then what I can also do is copy my three property names because I have, or I assume actually that I've added these names to my assets library for the different colors that I'd like to use. And now I can deselect my selection and press control shift again on my keyboard, click in front of the red and replace this definition of a UI color object that uses red, green, blue and alpha value with a named initializer. And here I have to use a string and I've just copied my color names and I can just hit command V on my keyboard to paste that right in place. And that's so cool because I've just copied them from my property names and closing parentheses, exclamation mark to unwrap my UI color object. And we are done transferring our functions into some properties, but it does not end here. We can also make some column wise changes. Let's say here on top of my property definitions for button color, label color and text field color, I have some IB outlets for six labels, but I've now decided that I actually do not want to work with the interface builder outlets here. I just want to have some private weak variables here and I need to remove the IB outlet column here. So what I can do now is press option on my keyboard and just drag over all all of these IB outlets over the complete column, remove that and replace it with private. And again, we are done with this whole operation. It's so quick and so cool. And I hope these little tricks now in Xcode 10 are also going to be useful for you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you do not want to miss any new videos. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.